Bonjour mes amis, ça va? We are here in the country of crêpes, baguette and fromage. We are in beautiful Marseille in France. And why am I here? Today I'm going to show you the new 2015 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. My name is Sarah Sauer and I'd like to welcome you for another episode of FLD Tours. Typical for Ford to go ahead and escape here. Torque for days on this thing. And this car's turbo. Ah! There it is. Just kicked in. It goes. I'm off. I see you. The C-Class is a very important model to Mercedes-Benz as it is the best-selling car from the brand. And here's the challenge. When it came to redesigning the C-Class, Mercedes-Benz engineers and designers had to be very careful in not losing the essence and heritage of the C-Class while helping it to grow up a little more. Right away from the looks, you can tell that the new Mercedes-Benz C-Class has matured with a striking resemblance to the S-Class. The front and rear end closely resemble the new S-Class and that's not a bad thing at all because this car looks so luxurious and so sharp in every angle. The same can be said about the inside. Much of the interior has been influenced by the S-Class However, Mercedes managed to keep it somewhat young and fun. The first thing you notice right away is a freestanding central display with a screen of 7 inches or 8.4 inches if multimedia package is selected. Another cool feature is the touchpad in the handrest that lets you control features in the central display. It acts just like a smartphone, so if you're familiar with touchscreen technology, this should be pretty fun for you. And if you're not that technologically advanced, it may take some time to get used to. So now that we got the exterior and interior features out of the way, let's talk about performance. In the United States, the C-Class will come as a C300 and a C400 formatic. The C300 will be powered by a 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbo, making 241 horsepower while the C400 formatic will be powered by a 3.0 liter turbocharged V6, making 329 horsepower. The new C-Class 400 formatic provides five different driving modes. Comfort, Eco, Sport, Sport Plus and Individual. Let me quickly explain how the Individual mode works. You can push this car button here and now you can choose if you want to go via touchpad or via button. So you can choose sports, sport plus, manual, economy and comfort. And we have the suspension, same here, sports, sports plus and comfort. And of course we have the steering. Here you can choose between sport and comfort. As soon as you switch between the different modes, you immediately feel the difference. So Mercedes-Benz did a good job. Mercedes-Benz says that the suspension on the new C-Class is a totally new development. They say it provides for nimble and agile handling that makes driving a great pleasure on winding roads. And yes, they're right. So what do I think about the new Mercedes-Benz C-Class? Well, at first sight, I think it's a very beautiful car. It's very well designed getting into the car. It's my taste. I like it. There's just one thing. I really don't like the seats because they have no side support at all really. And after doing some kilometers my back starts to ache. And I talked to other people who drive the C-Class and they had the same opinion. They all had problems with the seats. So I would recommend to choose the AMG package as the seats in there are, you know, more tight. I really, really like the head-up display. It's just brilliant and I keep looking at it all the time. Talking about displays, there's been lots of discussions about the freestanding display. Well, I just accept the fact that the display is there 
but I wish I could turn it a little so that I could focus better on it. In general, I must say, I like the three liter V6 engine. It is powerful, it gives you a smooth ride. It is possible to go very sporty if you switch into the Sport Plus mode. But here's the thing, I would expect more noise from the engine, you know, naughty noise. But there isn't any naughty noise. As you might know it from the AMG, driving in a Sport Plus mode, there's this nice, angry sound of the engine. You don't have it here, so the engine sounds the same all the time. That's a little sad, I think. When the 2050 Mercedes-Benz C-Class goes on sale in the United States, it will start around $37,000 for the C300, and of course, go up from there. In terms of its competitors, I think the new C-Class really takes it up a notch. I think it will continue being the best-selling model for Mercedes-Benz. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching FLD Tours. My name is Sarah Sauer. Au revoir. Well, since I'm the host for FLD tours in Europe or Germany, uh, I'm curious, which cars do you want to see? So let us know and comment the video. New Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Uh, my name is Sarah Sauer. <laughs>